Are we confused? I think we're confused. There is some conflicting information circulating out there about the Houston housing market. So today I wanted to go through the main ideas that I've heard and kind of give you my own thoughts about it because I'm hearing a lot of back and forth about the housing market. I too watch a lot of YouTube videos on a local and national level about the real estate market because I like to keep a pulse on what is being said. I am not a housing crash theorist. I am not going to use scare tactics for clicks and I am not going to try to convince you to buy in a crap market if it is a crap market. I am just going to use data and my own perspective and opinion to tell you what's going on in the housing market right now. We all know by now, just like many other real estate markets in the country, Houston smashed it between 2019 and 2022. There was record sales volume, historically low interest rates, and price increases of over 10% in a short amount of time. This frenzy started to subside in mid-2022 in many of the housing markets because I mean, the houses were too high at this point, coupled with high interest rate hikes. This caused the numbers to come down slightly compared to 2021, which then put a lot of fear and theory in many people that there might be a pending housing crash coming, which never actually happened in 2022. But thanks to the extraordinary circumstances that took place in the housing market during the pandemic, it has left little to no clues as to what to expect in the coming years, especially because this has never actually happened before. Theory number one, sales volume is dropping in Houston. The biggest thing it seems people are focusing on right now is that the sales volume has dropped over 30% in the Houston market in the last couple of months. The thing is, is that most of these market reports are comparing exactly one year over data market research. And I just want to emphasize that a 30% drop is not so scary when you think of the abnormal circumstances that happened in the 21 and 22 housing market. If we take a look at stats prior to the pandemic, like in 2018, we had over 4,700 units sold. In 2022, we had 6,000 units sold. So the numbers are not that far off. So the weaker sales volume does not indicate market distress. I think what it is really indicating is that the market is trying to resume normal cycles of real estate, meaning historical Historically, in the winter time, our sales volume has always been lower, and I feel like in the summer and spring, we're going to see that natural uptick in real estate transactions as we have historically. Number two is the amount of new construction inventory is an indicator of a housing crash pending. I have also heard speculation that the new home market has a bunch of inventory that they have not listed yet and that there are a ton of incentives that they're going to offer buyers. And once all this inventory gets listed, it would presumably cause a crash because they'll have to discount the prices so much. New construction currently makes up about 41% of the available inventory in the Houston metro area, which is currently sitting at around a three month supply. In a balanced market, it should be around a six month supply. So even if these builders did have hypothetically a bunch of inventory that they have not listed, even if they were to list it all, we would still be under that six month amount of inventory available. Also, our average days on market currently is 37 to 48 days. Prior to the pandemic, our average days on market was 67 days and a little bit longer for new construction. The new construction sector here in Houston is still getting a steady amount of building permits and they are still moving inventory at the rate that normal resale inventory is moving. The thing is, is that Houston is a massive region and we have a few suburbs here that are still accelerating in appreciation and are still receiving multiple offers in some situations. And a majority of these suburbs is also where our new construction is, which is on average listed 15% higher than the resale homes in the same area and are still moving at a steady pace. What I'm trying to get at is that demand for new construction is still strong and steady here, especially in the Houston suburbs. Builders and communities are still consistently releasing homes and lots to be sold. Number three is that prices are dropping in Houston. Correction, home prices are increasing at a slower rate than they have been the last two years during the pandemic, but they are not dropping. Home prices in Houston are still 1% higher than they were at the peak in 2021, and we are one of the few housing markets in Texas that is still in the positive for appreciation. Will it last? Who knows? I think personally, instead of seeing a significant price drop, we are going to see a lack of rapid appreciation in our homes in the next couple of years because of the interest rates and lack of affordability. The biggest dilemma right now is buyer affordability. It's not looking so great these days, especially for people who are local and have lived here and owned a home for several years now. Currently, our affordability index is at about 42%. 
This basically means that only 42% of people living in Houston make the minimum qualifying income to be able to afford the average price of a home here in Houston. In a healthy balanced market, we want the affordability index to be somewhere around 65 to 75%. Number five is that despite affordability, especially for locals here to Houston, Houston was still surveyed as the eighth most stable housing market in the country for 2023. The reason for this, I believe, is that we still have a ton of people relocating here on a daily basis, especially from more expensive markets, and because we have one of the strongest job economies in the country. Number one is that we are the fourth largest city in the country, and of all four cities, we have the lowest unemployment rate, the lowest cost of living, and we are the only city within these four cities that has not had a negative decrease in the housing market as of yet. Number two is that Houston is currently the number one city in the country for job creation and we have more Fortune 500 companies than any other city in the country other than New York City. Because we have such a strong employment segment of oil and gas, medical and science, we are continuing to see an influx of people regardless of what the housing market is doing. I hope that this video has helped clear up some of the misconceptions about the current housing market. I would love to hear your opinion on what you think is happening in the market right now. Please comment down below. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.